what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in this NBC gear bag and how I like to carry it. So I'll show you guys first, before I get into the contents, how I like to carry it. I use an LC2 pistol belt with an LC2 Y suspenders, as you can see. The back of the NBC gear bag has two eyelets for the suspenders. It has clips on the back for the pistol belt. I have the one quart canteen on this side with the NBC cap. And on this side, I carry my MCU2P gas mask. This is a basic NBC gear setup. Um, I decided to make this video due to the recent uh, attacks, such as the one in Vegas, and with the talk of uh, North Korea having nuclear capabilities. Maybe some of you guys out there want to know, how should I carry this? And this is a feasible setup that I like to use. It gives me water, because you need water. It has the gas mask cap on there to drink out of the gas mask while in a contaminated environment. It lets you carry your gas mask and all your essential equipment. You could also carry a first aid kit or other gear on here if you really wanted to, but this is just the basic setup that I chose to go with. Now I'm going to take it off this uh, suspender setup to make the video a little bit easier. So yep, it has two cinch down Fastec buckles to where you can tighten it, make it more compact if uh, I wanted to. Here are the eyelets that I was talking about. It has an ID card window holder and the spot for the Alice clips. Now let's get inside of the bag itself. This bag has a Velcro closure. It is rubberized and waterproofed. In here, you're going to want to carry your NBC gloves with your cotton liners to help you to help catch the sweat and um, cool your hands off easier. Then you're also going to carry your uh, uh, protective uh, feet, feet uh, covers um, or your over boots. This is the older style. They have a newer style, which I suppose you could carry in there if you really wanted to. Uh, if you want me to make a video on how to show you guys how to lace these up, I will. Just let me know. And then, we're going to carry the NBC suit itself. Now, what does NBC stand for? NBC stands for Nuclear, Chemical, and Biological. Um, this suit is designed to protect you against uh, those kind of threats. As you can see, it has the national stock number. It tells you what it is. It tells me that it's a size medium. And it tells me that it uh, was inspected, it was supposed to be inspected, or inspected of uh, November of 83 and was manufactured in 1978. This is an older one, though it's sealed, so it could still um, protect you from those uh, threats. It normally has a size chart on the back. It looks like that's worn away. In these kind of bags, you'll get the smock, which is um, has char activated charcoal inside. It has uh, a zipper and snaps, and then two chest pockets, and then the pants have um, thigh pockets and um, flutter out in the bottom to help you put your uh, over boots on. Um, unfortunately, I will not be opening this up. I'm going to keep it sealed. But this is your essential equipment. You need your uh, NBC suit, you got your gloves, your overboots, and your field protective mask. Depending on the mask that you get, that one is from my personal collection, so it has expired filters, and um, some of the parts on it aren't as good. So that one probably won't protect you in a chemical environment. Um, these ones, uh, like I said, are surplus, so you might want the newer models, but the, these gloves are uh, newer, obviously the suit is sealed. Um, some of the suits will come in different bags in this. Uh, you, there's a wide variety of suits that you could get for these, but I'd recommend the charcoal ones because they last longer than the uh, plastic ones. Um, so, yep, this is the... Um, complete uh, what you'd carry in your NBC gear bag. You get your suit, 
your gloves, your over boots, and then on your uh, personal field gear, you can carry the water and your mask. And this uh, builds up to the mop um, or the mission ornate protective posture. Um, you go through four cycles of mop. Uh, mop zero is where you're just carrying it, and then mop four is where you're wearing all of it, and then it breaks down from there too. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, just let me know. I'd recommend setting this something up like this if you really uh, feel the need to. You could carry it in your car, your house, or anywhere. Um, all this together with mask and new filters may be going to cost you about $200. Sometimes you can get the stuff cheaper. But yeah, like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, just let me know. Have a nice day.